In this video, I'm going to cover the difference between your standard hammer curl and what I call the cross body hammer curl. Now, standard hammer curl is done two arms at a time. You could also do it the alternating version, but with a standard hammer curl, you start with the dumbbells in a neutral position and they stay that way the entire way. You bring the dumbbells in front of the body up to the shoulder and back down. Cross body hammer curl, same concept here, but you're going to curl the way to cross your body. So instead of bringing the dumbbell out in front of the body, you're going to keep it close to your torso, bring it up towards the opposite side shoulder, and then back down, alternating arms with each rep. Now there are benefits to the cross body hammer curl that you don't get with the standard version of the hammer curl. Because you're using one arm at a time, you tend to be stronger, means you could place a bit more overload. The other benefit here is the position of the arm. By turning the arm in, it helps to focus more on the biceps long head. Remember, the hammer curl not only hits that deep brachialis muscle, but as research shows, it also helps to target the long head. By turning the arm in, that also better helps target the long head. So with that neutral grip on the hammer curls, you're going across the body, arm turned in, it's really an ideal long head biceps exercise. Long head makes up the majority of your biceps peak. That can help build a bigger, more impressive biceps peak. Now again, as I always say, variety rules, so don't think that the cross body hammer curl is always your best bet. Standard hammer curl is also great. Remember, it helps to target that deep underlying brachialis muscle that's gonna help with biceps thickness and help push the biceps out even further, making a bigger arm, but also it's going to work the brachioradialis more when you bring the arm in front of the body versus the cross body hammer curl. That brachioradialis is critical for forearm size. It's that muscle that's on the thumb side of the forearm. So if you want impressive forearms, the standard hammer curl makes a great segue exercise between biceps and forearms. Hope this tip helped you with your arm training. And for more great content like this from me, Dr. Jim Stepani, Stay right here at GNC.com.